We'll start a meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, item number two. Sorry, a little roll call. Albrecht? Here. Pablo? Here. Day? Here. Barecki? Toronto? Here. Warrenzak? Bono? Present, non voting, on video. Hold on, can we mute him? Okay, item number three, our mission signal. Elena? The mission of the Herkimer County Industrial Development Agency is to deliver economic incentives to businesses and industries to diversify and strengthen Herkimer County's tax base and enhance community vitality by supporting job creation, housing, business, and industrial development and community revitalization. We strive to develop the local economy in an organized, sustainable, and environmentally beneficial manner. Thank you. Item number four, uh, we have our minutes from the meeting on July 30th. Pages one through seven in your handout. Any questions, concerns, comments? John, anything with that? No. Nope. Okay. Um, I'd like to have a motion for the minutes, please. In a second? John. Sure. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? You can carry. Okay. Anyway. Oh, good morning. Item number five, mm -hmm. the financial reports, pages eight through fourteen. Pretty there. And they're adding more. I know. Thank you. So, no, uh, we did receive last month our second half of our allotment from the county. Uh, everything else is moving ahead. Uh, we'll get into some of the micro enterprise stuff later on. Um, we're on track for our budget. Everything looks good. Um, property maintenance might adjust a little bit more, too. We have a couple with the new property and a couple other things. Just want to make sure that we keep them organized and neat, but other than that, we're looking very good as always. Any questions? Okay, uh, motion for the financial reports. Alana, uh, second, John, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carry. Item number six, um, table, John, right? Yeah, we, we, uh, more than that. we don't have a uh, couple of issue things on there that we'll need to move that forward. So we're going to table that discussion. What did you have to find in the Well, she said into September, so I think we'll have time if we don't have another special meeting anyways for something else. So we have some time for that. It's funny how this year they moved it out. County. Just different. All things change, Jim. Yeah. They do. <clears throat> that was a constant in life, though. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, moving on. Item number seven, microenterprise grant update. Jen? Yes. Um, so, <clears throat> so the microenterprise grant, um, currently assisting several businesses applications as they happen. Um, at this time, I have four applicants in various stages of that process, um, including Juliano Farms, Root Wellness, the Velvet Dog, and Sky Financial Services. Um, we have pre previously approved two applications. Both of those business owners are working on getting their receipts so that they can submit their drawdown for the funds. Where I am with that. Um, did you want to add anything to that, Jeff? I, I do. I am concerned um, because we don't have a lot of time and we have $300,000 to spend. So we've been advertising it more, we've been more on social media, we've reached out to different partners out there, but we need to spend that money. We need to get more applicants in. People should not be afraid to walk you through the process. Uh, there's some great opportunity here for some for startups and for small businesses. So we really want to help them, but it's $300,000 we need to spend. So, if anybody has any thoughts or any people they'd like to hook us up with, please do. That's strictly Herkimer County, but 
we got to do something. We have a very good reputation with HCR. I really thought it was only 200 and I was comfortable. But then something came through the other day and we saw it's 300 now. Because mm -hmm. the max we can spend is, I think, 35,000. Yep, 35,000. Mm -hmm. We don't have that to use. We have a lot of money to use. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's the date on that? I don't know if you dropped that date. Oh, but it, I understand. There's the, what's the date? Next, uh, October okay. of 2025. Yeah. You don't think that's fast, but that's, it's amazing how quickly it's going to come, and then that's going to be a problem. What well, means of uh, advertisement are you using? So we put it on social media. Mm -hmm. We deal with the Small Business Development Center. Uh, there's another group that we send it out through, too. We bring it up. Uh, usual. Yeah, I mean, nobody reads a newspaper right now, so that's a problem. But whenever I'm out to on media, I talk about it. We bring it up wherever we can. When the chamber has an event, you know, they have this round thing we come in for that. We let them know up in the North Country. So we've been letting everybody, it's tough. I can't believe, I think they're afraid of the paperwork, but then we walk them through it like uh, Susie there. Is she almost ready? Yep, almost ready. So like Mrs. Shake, I mean, <laughs> Because they're one people band, you know, they don't they don't have a lot of help. So that's why Janet and A B help them do the paperwork and walk them through it and take their time with it. But we just need people to say they want to do it. A B was at the fair. She talked to a woman across in a booth that's from her from our county. And she's interested. So we just gotta keep getting that word out there. Well you got to next next book. But that's small. I know you don't want that's, that's tomorrow. Okay, that's tomorrow. Six months or, you know, oh. about, I mean, how many months does it typically take for the average applications like about six months yeah. Yeah, from start to finish yeah. so exactly. now if it's ice cream perfect. season they don't have time to work yeah. on this so you know that's the whole key is how do we get them going mm -hmm. Pardon? no we have not to hear that anything yeah, oh, to let them know, plus maybe they might need new software or something else, too. They're a small business, yeah. But, yeah, to let them know we have that. Good idea. So the end of the first quarter next year, if they're not locked in. and It's going to be trouble. The pipeline, you're not gonna make it it's it's going to be tough. We, I, we've never asked for an extension, and I don't really want to start. I'll start with that. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Marketing update, Aaron. First off, everyone should be excited that she's not using the magic wine. <laughs> yeah, that wine is getting me nervous. <laughs> See, I was hesitant. Uh, well, we got that. It works in both now. All right, Sam. It's with a little culture. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, so we just got them yesterday, but I made two signs for one for the Four Corners Business Park and then one for the Skyler Business Park for the 4.1 acres we have in the front. Of the, would you say that's the front? Yeah, I feel that's like the it's front. The back, though, but yeah. Um, Howie's going to be putting them up today. Hopefully. Wait, go back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the air conditioner? The air conditioner. I was going to let Sarah know after our meeting. Because he had his finger on it, but he had a question. Oh. <laughs> if you go to our website, there's a virtual tour of the Masonic building, the inside and outside. It might be too slow. That's probably why. Well, I can do it. So we finished our asbestos abatement. We're just waiting for the documentation to show that. Uh, we have a couple of quotes on finishing out the clean out on that. We've also um, working with uh, TRW architects for the decarbonization part of the DRI grant. So we'll have everything to submit for that very shortly. Uh, so we're, we're still moving ahead. Things are, are looking good. But that virtual tour, I think it's because of that system. I don't know. It opened earlier. I think it's just because it's in slideshow mode. Okay. So you can even view it on your phone. It's very cool. So it walks you right through it all. Yeah. 
on September 19th, we're having a meeting with Joan from Micron. Um, I'm going to be sending out an email through constant contact today, so we'll have to RSV. Just wait one minute, too. So for this one, um, Joe is the uh, local representative for Micron statewide. Uh, he was formerly with Senator Schumer's office, his uh, chief of staff in the Syracuse office. He um, is going to be here, too. We can set up a few meetings ahead of time and after, but it's going to be myself and him. Uh, we're not sure which uh, venue yet at the college, whether it's the large uh, auditorium or the smaller one, depending on how many RSVPs we have. But we'll have some great one on one time with him. If there's other individuals you'd like to have a time set up for, just let me know. Uh, we'll be able to sit down with him. A really good guy, loves the area. And we have him talking to some other uh, properties in our county about some growth opportunities because of like that. But it's very exciting to Joe. Good man. He's from Utica too, so he really likes and supports the area. Do you need to know that? Could we put a date on there? Oh, we better put that on That's there. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I was, uh, I honestly didn't know that. I was wondering for myself. No, I, I think we should put down maybe a week before. <laughs> just so we have a, because both rooms, we took over both odds in case we get more than the other. Very good thing to attend. Very good thing to attend. Um, Go ahead. This is just an ad I made for the Leading Edge Awards for um, Walk Valley Edge. Because we're sponsoring them, so. And are you going to that? Yeah. Are you going? Yes. Okay. Me and Jim are jealous. Yeah, for Steve. Um, we've been getting more pictures from James Burns drone pictures. So we have Four Corners, the 4.1 acres at Scott Business Park, and then Warrior Solar. He did a video for the solar farm that is like a an extension of the one that Dave did because there's more than. So on those uh, three rate warrior solar, uh, we'll send out invitations to October 22nd. Uh, there'll be a ribbon cutting. There'll be people there from pretty much all over the country. A lot of lead people for um, solar uh, waste management who owns that property. So it's a big brownfield opportunity too, since we built it on that. Um, the uh, other two parks, we really wanted some better footage because we're really going to start to market those hard. We've gotten a lot of hits already, but we don't have anything signed, so it's best we keep moving forward with those two. And as uh, Aaron said, uh, James has been a great find for us. He uh, made the videos uh, like a continuation. And if you do look at our website, you'll notice as the seasons change, so do our pictures. And we want to continue that by putting different seasonal pictures to show people that we do have four seasons here and to show the growth in all of our parks as well. <clears throat> Great job. Awesome. Thanks, sir. Item number nine, ECH payment, page number 16 in your handout. Brian, you want to go through that? Sure. sure. So we're trying to cut cost any way that we can and look at being more efficient. And one of them is one of the ways of doing that is through ACA payments. And Victoria and Jen took a look at what we pay every month and the consistent of the, of the amount. And uh, the ones listed are the ones that we uh, pay on a monthly basis. Now, because of our system, the way that we monitor checks and everything, uh, this would re be reviewed um, by Mr. Bono or Jan or Ann. I think all three of them, right? Victoria, they yeah. can sign. Yep. So all three of them would review when, when asked. Um, but we wanted to make it easier and not to have to write the checks and all of that with these ACHs. Uh, we'll continue to add to this list and take away from this list as we grow or, or find other ways that we can do it. But like Hummels, we couldn't do it this way. You know, it's just not the same number every month. We want to keep those checks. We, we need to keep some auditing of those type of things. But here, you know, when you take a look at the retirement system, payroll, um, disability, our, our medical, all of those are consistent. So we thought that would work out the best to start with. Right, Victoria? Is there anything else today for that? No, we covered that. I think ACHS as well as the other checks. Can you just pop those down? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
which is a, a mechanism fraud. Um, sometimes switching over to the stage helps that fraud too, but then I'm just curious. And that's why where I read this and I thought that's um, what the reasoning was. So it's more or less just a kind of so this doesn't need to be voted on, it's just a process. So but we want to make sure we're aware of that too. But we'll have Jimmy sign this uh, and then review every month when total flipping was out because now they'll do that check to the mission. I'll start with that? Yep. Okay. Uh, next item number 11, Russell Farm Water and Sewer update, page number 17. John, of course, we all love these. Uh, Deference in pricing for the water and sewer over there. Um, I haven't, to be honest with you, haven't had a sit down with uh, the three parties here yet. Um, but I did want to get this approved because we should have everything working uh, in, before our next meeting. Uh, an amount changed from the original contract from 426000 to 480000 um, Yeah, there was a lot of... The, um, they had to empty the pit out a lot more than they thought for how deep the sewer pump is in order to fit the casing down in there to yeah. allow that to happen. We also had a couple other changes uh, with the, the position and the working of the uh, uh, the lights there. So if you go by Russell Farm now, you'll see like a little section that's black topped. Underneath that black top is like a reader that reads when there's weight on it to help adjust the lights. Also, you'll see a, a, a board that power can be at to run the pump in for the sewer, and then water's coming over them now. So you'll see a fire hydrant located there as well. So we haven't closed yet on this because there was an issue with the pump, but now we're told it's all running, but we're gonna have one last meeting there to see it all. Um, and so that'll give us a change notice to that 480. Um, I'm gonna get a little, um, a little more of a, a pushback and conversation with them on that. So, but I would like to make it not to exceed $480,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000, $50,000,
Can Shannon go through? Uh, she can do whatever you see. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I just, I think this is, as I understand it, just a mechanism. Oh, there's the one. Okay. This is just a mechanism because we've approved the up to 175 for the IDA to spend on the Sonic project, which is simply owned by the LDP. Correct. Yeah. So, what if it, if it grows to 175, or excuse me, and it's also 175, and is there any update on how that 175 will be reconciled down the road, whether it's like a do to, do from, or is it just the IDA plugging money into the LBC and then it's an investment, so to speak? It's I, I think right, right now it's truly an investment. However, with a couple of projects that we have seen coming, really moving ahead more than we anticipated so quickly, I believe we will be able to pay that back with no issue. Um, just from a couple of them, one, you know, I can talk about later you know, in executive session, but um, one we're going to talk about in the uh, uh, LDC meeting with the Charlestown Mall project. So there'll be revenues from that. That'll definitely pay back the uh, IDA. So, so we'll see this for, uh, will we see this no, for every project or just no, for this one because the 175 is the investment? Well, no, because we took this at the IDA and then turned it into the LDC. We can set up contracts with Charlestown directly to the LDC. So this will probably be a one-off. Um, it might not be because I'm not sure what about Bill's school or mm -hmm. if we do Ainge through Temper. So there might be some other ones in there. And as we look at the Bowens on Main Street, you know, mm -hmm. that Main Street properties, there might be something that we might have to do through the IDA because of uh, tax purposes with the county, property tax purposes to get back on the record and right. back on the books and do all that. We might have to take it our way further mm -hmm. and then turn it over to that. But those are, you know, I say they're down the road, but stuff changes every day. It's crazy. But Shannon's on to answer any questions that you might have. Shannon, could you can you just elaborate a little bit on uh, section uh, 13 there? Because I can't remember what Chuck said this morning. I'm sure. Can everybody hear me okay? Yep. Yeah, so section 13, um, we're we're adding language in that would basically say <clears throat> that no other parties could rely on this agreement. So really that section would be more applicable if this wasn't the LDC. If you were, if this was with another company, a private company that wasn't related to the IDA in any way, but we're looking at this agreement as if someday somebody would try to use it for precedent. So if the IDA in the future wanted to invest in another project that didn't involve the LDC, that actually involved a private company, then we would want this agreement to be kind of a way that they could structure that. And this section we want in there just to protect you. Um, also in the event that like the ABO or the OSC were to look at this project, they're gonna be looking to make sure that the IDA has taken every step that they can to make sure that the funding is being used only for this Masonic project and that it wouldn't be used as collateral for a bank or it wouldn't be used in an improper way. So including that language in there just protects you from like an audit slash compliance standpoint. Um, is the majority of the 175, do we know right now what we're spending that on? Is it mostly just like revamp the yeah. plaintiff? Yeah. yeah, we don't okay. have it completely broken down. Yeah. The next big uh, dollar will probably be cleaning it out. <clears throat> Will this go towards like the testing of them? And the no, most of that we got through grants. Yeah, okay, grants. yeah. And mostly all of the, I should say, most of the money, so all of the uh, build out and everything will be through grants as well. Mm -hmm. The equipment and everything else, elevator, all those good things. It says in section three that it says that the 175 is just an initial deposit. Is that just? standard language or is that I, our current Well, once again, I, I can't answer for sure. Um, you know, we haven't seen anything that's going to change that amount. I mean, can you see anything right now? Not as of yet. Because of, to move ahead with the, with the repurposing of the building and to do any of that, that's going to come through grants. So I don't see that. We picked 175 just because of the clean out cost. They wanted to make sure. But even part of the grants, we have the outside 
joining up, the roof fixtures, uh, the elevator, <laughs> parking lots. I mean, we have all of that as part of the plan. So I can't see it being any more than that. But I mean, I don't think we should limit ourselves either at this time. Just because it's it's all new for all of us. I haven't heard this before. The grants would come. Um, through the IDA and then to the LDC. Not necessarily. No, some cases they'll come right through the LDC too. So, yeah, some can come through the IDA to the LDC, others will be LDC by themselves. So, because it's set up as a not for profit, some of them. But, I, and then other ones too. And, and we haven't even exhausted all of that yet because mm -hmm. we wanted to get that cleaned out first. I think we're in a better position than it now, and especially we've uh, secured the roof so there's no more leaks. So we've got rid of asbestos, those are the two big things. We've got water hooked up there, no power right now, but that's fine. We don't want to have water, we don't want to have power to get rid of the you know, phone walls that were put up for the TAM. I know they used to go to the TAM, those ones they put it in the end. Oh, I'm sorry. Scratch the record. <laughs> Okay. Is there anything we're missing, Shannon, that you want to, other than what we've talked about, is there anything that is pertinent to explain to us? Um, no, I don't, I think unless the board has any questions, I don't have anything else that I would specifically point out. So for this one, we're going to approve <clears throat> both the resolution and this project agreement then in the LDC meeting we're just approving the project agreement correct so there's a resolution on that side too okay they can see that you want to separate the resolution oh yeah it doesn't okay and the agreement first though sure okay. is there a motion for the funding agreement from the side Alana a second Tim all in favor aye um, any opposed? Okay, carried. And then a motion on the uh, uh, resolution. Resolution Tim and second Mike. All in favor, aye. Any opposed? Carried. Okay. I'll start with John. Okay. Can I interrupt for a second? Um, you did you want to do a Skylar Business Park update number ten? We we kind of went from nine to eleven. Um. Like, yeah, that's only discussion. We can do it in the project okay. updates and stuff like that. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Any comments from any elected officials that we have at the meeting? Yes. Thank you for yes. today. Yeah. Wow. Mark, <laughs> Mr. Garecki, any comments? <laughs> Mark, are you on? Sorry. Could could you repeat that? Any comments? No, not at this time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Bono, any comments? No, very good. I'm uh, I'm good here, Corey. Uh, I'll have my resignation letter in uh, by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're hired. So we're not accepting it. <laughs> by the way, I have it written up right here, Mr. Bono. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, fax it over to me. I'll make sure my attorney checks it out so, so, uh, yeah the only thing i'll add is that like jenny was talking about the micro enterprise grants and trying to find people if there's anything our office can do to help spread the word on social media through word of mouth like we're happy to do that whatever whatever is necessary um you know any of the projects that you guys got going on john for the masonic temple um if there's any any large support we can do any contacts we can make i know you got we got things on lock here because uh, Herc Merkizo has a great IDA along with Jim. Um, if there's anything we can do, just feel free to reach out anytime. You know where to find us. Sure, thank you. Uh, we do utilize your office for letters of support all the time. I think there was a little hitch in the beginning, but now that we're so we're happy to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Thank you. Well, where are you okay with your office? So we have three offices. I'm in. I'm located in the Albany office. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then we have a satellite office in Johnstown, and then we have one in our water pump. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you my card. Okay. Thank you, uh, John. Any project updates? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Hanson Island. We received the data back from uh, uh, Bartlett Judas. I know that the state's reviewing that for the bridge. Um, 
do have several developers interested in the old Salad of Tea. So um, one of the key issues down there will be that we uh, get in some applications for developers before the pros housing uh, goes into effect because once that happens, the governor's gonna stop a lot of independent funding that she can support. So I think we'll see some issues there, but I think we have some projects that can move ahead faster than that. Um, <clears throat> we're selected our vendor for the housing study that we're working on behalf of the county. Um, we uh, selected LaBella Associates and they're gonna work on a different facet of the housing. And they were quite intrigued by it too. We're gonna look at uh, mobile modular and tiny homes in the county. Um, we know we need housing, but where can we put them? You know, can we run them along Route 20, along Route 8, 28? Where can these go? What can we have something different? There we'll need septic, or well water, and electricity. I think we'll be able to, to do some of that. We know we're going to need some housing for sure. Um, Skyler on Thursday, Corey, we're good for that. They are. And we're all going to meet. Um, why don't we meet at 11 at Fountainhead Parking Lot? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so where's that Pepsi 11? Run me to Pepsi. Well, uh, there's not a lot of parking in Pepsi, that's the only problem. Um, you might want to, yeah, maybe quarter of if we could meet quarter of at uh, at Mount Pepsi. That would be a better day. Um, you guys scheduled to one o'clock, yeah, roughly to one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why like, yeah, we have lunch in that I don't need to. <laughs> I'm there I'll bring a box to go for this. I'm there to absorb knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Thank uh, you. I'll be there. Uh, uh, Thursday night, we met with the developer of the Russell Farm, the Castro Farm property <laughs> in front of the town of Frankfurt. Only positive there it was great. They brought drawings. They talked about a million square foot structure. Uh, the town's on board. We're going to set up a joint meeting between planning, zoning, and the town. Uh, can be upwards of a $330 million project. We're very excited about that. A couple hundred workers, this should move ahead quite, uh, they're they're prepared. So they should have no issues of moving ahead uh, quickly. So everything everything set up there. That was a very good meeting we had. Do they know which time they're working to the zone? I'm not sure. I thought they had two options. They do have two options, but they're gonna, uh, they applied for the bigger option, okay. for the higher building, the more power, all of that. Because okay. um, that really, it's the only other site in the state that could support that. Mm -hmm. The other one, the other site that this uh, end user was looking at won't let them put the 120 uh, square, uh, 120 foot high ceilings in. When you take a look at that property because of the slope, 120 uh, foot building is not intrusive to that area. If it was on a flat piece of land somewhere, you go 120 feet, holy cow. But the way it sits down in, it's you'd look over it just like you would anything else. So it's a, in a really good spot for that. A uh, million square feet, what would you just be one? One custom. Yes. That's the only bigger than the Bigger than the uh, 65,000 square feet bigger. Uh, mm -hmm. I am. I, I was uh, asked to attend this uh, energy conference in Syracuse next week. It's very uh, limited to the amount of attendees. Uh, one of the major topics will be nuclear energy. Uh, the state's looking at something a little different now. So I was excited to be invited to that. Uh, we talked about Joe Nimes, uh, Nimes um, dual fold grant. I don't know if I brought this up the last time. Uh, we made it through the first round, which is very exciting. Uh, Seventeen and a half million dollars for dual fold, uh, we, and we don't have to present, so that's another big thing. So they moved us on. So uh, from the help of Senator Schumer's office, he's been a real big help with that for the EPA grant. There, our first BOA meeting is on September fifth, right? at five p.m. in the year third. I'm sorry, you are correct. Third uh, here. Um, so that's that's good. We're kicking that off for the village of Herkimer. And then, uh, yeah, then everything else we have to talk about in the executive session. What about the um, like the repairs? I refuse to discuss it. No. <laughs> I was like, okay. No. So uh, did I mention though, if there ever is a tornado or a hurricane you're close by, you get in that damn elevator shaft. Yeah, I see that. Do not go <laughs> in the elevator shaft. It's the safest place around. 
Um, so I've been talking with the state and uh, we submitted all the documentation. So we're looking to get some cleanup money from that. They're hoping to tie it into uh, the FEMA side of things yeah. because of Rome. So Rome had to hit a certain dollar and went, our cleanup, in all honesty, is only like $500,000. I mean, that's a lot, but it's not a real lot in the big scheme. Mm -hmm. So and then we, we have to make sure that they're going to leave the structure that's attached. They're not going to go too deep in with those bricks. Just leave those there so it doesn't affect you know, building B or 2, whatever you want to call it. So we're working on that. In fact, I was on a call yesterday with the state about that. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, someone mentioned we should grab a bunch of brick for when we have a ribbon cutting or give them away. But they're all covered with asbestos. So I don't remember, really recommend anything go fix up any of that brick. But that, that's moving forward. I see uh, just in general too, uh, the uh, developer signed an extension on the contract for that. We met with the town, uh, the village of Illion a couple weeks ago. That meeting went great. Seems as though everything's moving ahead there as well. And uh, then we're also working with the village on Bill School, uh, Article uh, 19B, which is for the uh, it's abandoned property law that the village can utilize to take the Bill School, since it is abandoned. And Anne can vouch we were going in there on a very hot day a couple of weeks ago. She beeped and waved as she went by. Could have came in. Uh, <laughs> it was yeah. hot, but it's a uh, it's a real the roof's in great shape. The developer we brought was very excited about it. There's actually a house for sale right next to it too. It's all moving ahead very slowly. So we should be involved with two major catalysts for the uh, downtown Hurtler area with the Masonic and Bill School that can really show some change there. Uh, not here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Executives. Okay. Uh, motion to enter executive session. Tim? Uh, contract, negotiations. contract negotiations, definitely. Definitely. Okay. Second. Motion by Tim and a second. Alana. Okay. All in favor, tie. Yeah. Yeah. Opposed, carried. Executive session. Yeah, so. Uh, I know. <laughs> Lana, second, John, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Okay, we're out of executive session. Moving over to LDC. So she's got.